All right, I'm in Wisconsin, Woodruff, with uh, Gary Engels. And Gary's school, which has expanded since I was last here three years ago, and by the way, when I was last here, it was freezing. Today it's a beautiful summer day. His, uh, this is my pride and joy right here. His school is a leadership academy, and my friends, that's no nonsense. That isn't a slogan. This man teaches leadership and has developed a program. Here's a great visual called Projabi, which is about project-based leadership training. First floor. I guess I was last year in 08. Very nice. There's BJ, Jason, Tom Kalos, all the good-looking guys. Look, there he is. These are uh, an experiment. There are three new posters, uh, self-defense advice, news stories, second floor, and third floor. Wow, look at that. Gary's black belt certificates. Academy. Project-Based Leadership Training Center. Now here's his project wall. So in the Leadership Academy, you learn leadership by actually doing things that require you to practice leadership. You know, it's not a lecture. It's not a five-minute thing. It's not a handout for the parents. It's actually engaging the children in the community uh, in, with things they're interested in. And this wall with these little clips represent projects that the school's done. Gary's sc students have done well over a couple hundred projects, and it says this is what it was. And so there's some pride there for the individual students. It's a great visual for parents to see that, uh, wow, this is, these are things that the school has done, and these are things that are initiated by the students, not the teachers. And so uh, talk about a strong visual component. Wow, look at those beautiful passes. Project-based leadership training is about, oh, there's a beautiful one. Look at that. Is about being able to tell parents and the community, you know, it looks like I teach martial arts, and of course, you know, I do, but this is what I really do. I teach people to take their martial arts off the mat and put it to work in the world. Look at all these projects. Each one represents something that somebody was extremely proud of, and it culminated in some activity. And so a parent or a student can come see. In this portfolio, uh, Gary's developing a program where it's also online. So what the, what the genius about this is, is that you, uh, your school gets known for more than it's currently known for. You create a body of evidence. You create uh, a quantifiable uh, tool that says, I do this because you all do this. You all do your jiu-jitsu and your taekwondo and your karate. I mean, you do that, and you do it well, I'm sure. But you have potential yet unmet. And so when you start engaging the students in a practice of taking what you practice on the mat and putting it to work in their lives for the benefit of others, you create a whole new paradigm, something new to sell, something new to talk about, something new to brag about, something... And when the kids create their own portfolios... They create a resume of their activities, motivated and inspired by the martial arts, that they carry with them in their life. Listen, my friends, you're going to go to the next seminar. You're going to go to the convention. You're going to subscribe to the magazine. You're going to be buying programs for the martial arts, you know, to enhance your value and your perceived value. There is no better idea than what you're looking at right here, the concept of project-based leadership training. To find out about Prajabi, you go to prajabi.com. To become a part of a community of martial arts teachers who are taking this work to a completely different place, you come to the 100.us. But you've got something inside you that's yet untapped. You have a, a role in your community, and you have to redefine what your school does in the world to increase your value. That's the work that we're doing here.